Amanda here from Social Studio. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're all well and safe. Today I'm going to show you a little video tutorial about doing couture darts. So darts, they can be a little bit of a nemesis but couture darts really do make them posh. So couture darts, when you do a dart normally you will go from the wider dart leg end to the point and you will tie up and have that little knot at the end. With the couture dart, you will start at the point and work back to the dart leg and you will have no tie-offs whatsoever. They really are the ultimate in uh, darts. So I will show you how we do that right now. Here we go. I have my bobbin already mounted into the machine and it has come up through the throat plate. So what we need to do is thread the needle with the bobbin thread, but it needs to be, it's not like we normally go front to back, we've got to come from back to front, so a little bit trickier. So with our threader, there we go, that's through, and I'm just going to hook that onto his beak, and we pull back through the eye of the needle. So then we're going to thread the machine. So we want to actually pull enough bobbin thread off and we are then going to thread up our machine just the way we would normally. Now make sure that you do give yourself enough thread at the top to complete your dart here I've prepped just a piece of fabric with a makeshift dart legs in I've chalked it into place hopefully we'll be able to see that on camera fine we then place in our pins I like to place my pins so they are horizontally across going from one dart leg to the other the reason i do this is then if they are going horizontally i am then able to pinch that fabric together normally we would take the pins towards the dart leg but as we actually pin them together and transfer the direction of the pin you'll find that the pin goes directly through both dart leg lines so that makes it a little bit easier. As I say, we're going to start from stitching from that point, and that way we are using the bobbin thread in both our top thread and our bobbin thread. And therefore, starting at the point, we can work towards the open end of the dart leg and stitch straight off. Here I have all my bobbin thread, so make sure that you've got plenty of bobbin thread that's going to be long enough to do the whole of your dart and then we're going to place in the dart from the point tip and we're just going to catch right onto the end of that dart and so all the way along So here we have our lovely couture dart with no little tie off tufts at the end. We would then press that into place and we would then need to reset the, fab the machine back up for the remaining darts that we need to do. So we would need to set up our machine each time in the same way, threading from the back to the front pulling up the bobbin thread um, and re-threading the machine. Yes, a little bit of work, but just like we do French seams, if we want something that little bit extra special, that couture technique 
then it really is worthwhile. So I really hope you enjoyed and that little tutorial and that you have a go with them. Let me know how you get on. Leave a comment below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up guys and subscribe if you like the tutorials that you're seeing. Take care, have a lovely safe week and I'll see you soon. Bye now.